Hey, I'm William Latham, a Cobb County native and local historian. My concern today has to do with the 700 feet of Civil War trench line located on this property. You've already heard reference to the report from RS Webb and Associates, which says basically there's no trench, there are no trenches on the property, and the trench that was in that area actually went through Lowe's, the Lowe's uh, development. We believe the opinions expressed in the RS Webb report are wrong for several reasons. First, two highly regarded local historians, Mr. Willie Johnson, who served as park historian at Kennesaw Battlefield Park, and Michael Schaefer, who has a master's degree with honors in military history, Civil War studies, and teaches at KSU, have both looked at the trench line from adjoining properties. We've not been allowed on site, but they were able to see the trench line coming down the hill from properties to the north. And they are in agreement that without a doubt, that is a Civil War trench line on that property. Second, the Center for Military History, United States Army, located in Washington, D.C., published a study on the Atlanta campaign in which they stated the Confederate forces hastily dug in along the bluffs overlooking Mud Creek. Now, if, as R.S. Webb alleges, the Confederate line went through Lowe's, there's no possible way it could overlook Mud Creek. Plus, you would have the unique occurrence, which I'm not aware has ever occurred during the, the war between the states, of a defensive line being set up with a taller hill directly in front, just waiting for the enemy to occupy that hill and shoot down at you. By 1864, no commander, north or south, was going to do that. Their men would have mutinied because it would have been stupid. And third, and perhaps most importantly, during the early 1950s, the state of Georgia initiated a historic marker program using roadside historic markers to mark uh, locations of historic significance throughout the state. We've all seen those throughout Cobb County and around the state. The gentleman that uh, was selected to research and write the text for the markers in North Georgia was Wilbur Kurtz. Now, Mr. Kurtz, reputation as a historian back then, was so well known that Margaret Mitchell consulted with him while she was writing Gone with the Wind. She also recommended him as a consultant for the film Gone with the Wind, and he was so well regarded in that work that Disney used him as a consultant for The Great Locomotive Chase and The Song of the South, two more movies. So he was very well regarded. And during his work on the Historic Markers Program on January 14th, 1953, many years before the Collins family bought the property on the Z98 site, Mr. Kurtz and the company of a state highway department official visited the newly constructed two-lane state, state Route 120 in West Cobb County at the point where it crossed Mud Creek. In his notebook, which is on file at a local research center, Mr. Kurtz made handwritten comments on the text page for the Mud Creek marker, noting, and I'm quoting now, we ascended to the high hill north of, Mud Creek, north of the road and found gun emplacements and rifle pits in the thickly wooded area. Mr. Kurtz also noted that the old course of the road is south of that area. So that was right when 120 had just been built in the, in the early 50s. The location of the Mud Creek historic marker is on the highway right away next to the Collins property. The high hill with gun emplacements and rifle pits, Mr. Kurtz mentions, can only be the hill located on the Collins property north of State Route 120. I've attached a, co a copy in the handouts you were given of the uh, Mud Creek marker text page from Kurtz's notebook and an enlargement of his handwritten notes. For the reasons listed above, I ask that the RS Webb conclusions about the location of Civil War trenches in the vicinity of Z-98 property be disregarded as erroneous. A few weeks ago, we attended a meeting with Mr. Andy Campbell and Mr. Parks Huff, his attorney, and Charlie Crawford of Georgia Battlefields was there. We left the meeting hopeful that a compromise might be worked out to say part of the trench line. However, since that has not happened and they've come forward with a plan that would totally destroy the trench line and the rifle pits on that property, we ask emphatically that you vote against the rezoning request before you today.